This is the thing that makes the world go around that I'm not using very well. I'm using it, but I'm not using it like I need to be using it. You're using it, but you're not using it very well. Nine times Whoa. out of ten, you who are listening and watching are not using this very thing well. Welcome back to the podcast. I am your overstuffed host, <laughs> Mr. Made Over. I hope you check out that last food review we did. And this is <laughs> <laughs> full co-host. <laughs> full co-host gluttonous. I don't I think that was, yeah, that had to be. I don't know what I ate. Why we ate that? Why we did two? We should have just did one. All right. God. But I am <laughs> Mrs. Madeover. I am super stuffed. This is sad. This is a setup. Um, I wonder why we stuffed. Not because of the last review. It was because not. we did this old mad today. <laughs> Man. I think you're I boy feeling very over like I like I just had Thanksgiving or something. Like but I don't know why you got me. I had all that food. I could have just did two of them and been good. Uh, you'd have been hungry later on. You can hear that thing right now. Y'all, three whole sausages. I ate all three of them. Georgia dogs. <laughs> I ate all three of them. Um, but it has been a interesting week to say the least. Oh. Or interesting mm-hmm. twelve days. <laughs> Do I still have <laughs> to say the least? I mean, you gotta understand. Can you talk about your experience uh, on the twelve days on the twelve of Christmas day. thing for you? The twelve days beyond Christmas, because that's when, <laughs> on the twelfth day beyond Christmas. My Wait, true love came to me. Found the gift that like just, just say that. <laughs> okay, so all the gifts apparently were in the house, right? All right, so um, this one here, if you have been following um, our family uh, channel or playlist, playlist, <laughs> following our playlist from Christmas, um, Mr. Mo decided that he would um, outdo himself. That's what he decided. And give me 12 days of gifts. Sounded like amazing, y'all. First of all, it is amazing. Let's get that hey, straight. But you gotta let me like. I let you tell it. My... You tell it right. Okay, so but you gotta let me finish though. I figured, tell it. Did you just do that? <laughs> so very, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, this is gonna be like good. Like every day he gonna come in and hand me this gift, right? That's like <laughs> that's for suckers. <laughs> no, y'all. <laughs> I had you to give on the first one. <laughs> first day, y'all got my gift right. He handed me the bag. Woo. Okay, I'm thinking every day is gonna be like this: bag, gift, you know, whatever. No, day two comes. Hey, did you find your gift? What you mean? Did I find my gift? What? Who said I gotta find a gift? Day three comes. Did you find your? Wait, I'm still finding it. Okay, so his idea of 12 days of Christmas or 12 days beyond Christmas giving of gift gifts of the gifts um, is he bought all the gifts. I found that out. And um, well, you did throw number three at me. If you watch the podcast, the New Year's Eve podcast. 
Yeah. I had my blanket. And yeah, I had my blanket. And so he went out he went outside to do something. And then like he comes back in and he throws it and he goes, This is number three. What? And y'all it's so comfortable. Um but yeah, so long story short again is that um my spontaneous husband has decided to gift me twelve days worth of gifts, but awesome days. But I had to I had to find every gift. Um, Except for the one and the third one. Yeah. And some gifts I moved around so she could find them. <laughs> some of them came with a hint. That's too crazy. Part. We played hot or cold with one, y'all, because like it's not like our house is ginormous. It's not. So I but to myself, this would be easy, y'all. Nah. But the one gift you had, like the one, y'all, there was one gift day. That's what it was. Day four was my pants, my joggers. So day four, y'all, I'm trying to get the Christmas tree and all that stuff down. So I was like, okay, the girls fought me about taking the tree down. So our tree is actually still up, <laughs> but all the other decorations are down. So y'all, I'm up here. I've collected all the uh, decorations. I'm up here on the little chest. The gift, y'all, is sitting right on the speaker, and I missed the whole thing and had been standing in front of it the whole time. And so he did number numbers one through <laughs> nine, <laughs> but number well, no, you gave me number five too because number five you just handed it to me because that was the my my dinner. Remember? You still didn't do that one. So I don't know if I'm looking for gift so number. Thirteenth day, Chris. <laughs> the, uh, that one hasn't been cashed in yet. So it's still number five. I keep telling him, y'all. He it's not number okay. Five if it if the been, gift was, look, if the gift was given it to me, it goes to the end of the line. So he's trying to basically say that number five so is technically number twelve. Account. It's for me. It's for my sanity. But it's confusing me. So, but it has been amazing. Now I know all my gifts. I remember all the gifts now. Thank you, dude. Oh Lord Jesus! So <laughs> I don't know if I have another gift or not, but I'm gonna be honest. I didn't look for a gift. Yes, no. Yesterday I found a gift, and I think outside of the blanket, that's one of my favorites. What? The Target one, the fire assistant? Yeah, those were. But I'm talking about like all time favorite. Like, like you, like you, like hit the nail. Like one hit. What? She talking about? My um, here's a rose. My Golden Girls. Oh, yeah. I got Golden Girls PJs. And so that and the blank, like that's my like, yeah, that's okay. Kind of go together. Yeah, that and my blanket, cause I use that blanket the whole break. But yeah, so it was. It's been entertaining to say the least, and the girls have made it into a joke. <laughs> Mommy, you still ain't found your gift from Daddy. Daddy hit them gifts real good. Can you help me? No, mommy, because we're watching a movie. No, mommy, we're playing a game. Y'all ain't no help, man. So, um, yeah, I've been on a quest around the house to look for gifts. But um, I, honestly, I don't think she's been looking for them, though. Um, I look in the same places like, because there's not many spots to put it without the kids finding it first. My heart says that she's doing what her daughters usually do. That, walk into a room, look around. I... I walk. I, I still look. know how you miss that jogger. Like I don't I'm either. trying to figure that out. I missed the whole. I but I went right in, back to it, and that's I the crazy that part. Place. Like it was literally. It was like here's the speaker. I'm like, can I hold? Yeah. Like here. Oh, gotta hold that right up. Like here's the speaker, and then the or the speaker was like this, and the joggers were sitting straight here, and I'm looking at the speaker and the jogger. It's like one of those. Um, what is that sound bar? So it was on sitting on top of the sound bar, y'all. Missed the whole thing with a big blue number. And that's when I realized though, when I start seeing the blue number, so then I start trying to look around the house <laughs> for the blue number. So I would stop, I would scan every room. <laughs> I was scanning the room and then like day seven. Wasn't it day seven? The outfit, the full outfit. Now that one got me, and I found that one on accident because I was going to my closet to do something else. So some stuff I found on accident, and then like my 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 Golden Girls PJs that was found on accident yesterday. So that was gift eleven because I was looking. I had been looking in the console all week or since they you know whatever. 
day two. So the console, because I'm like, ooh, that'll be a good hiding spot. Because if it was oh, me, so I gave you, I gave you actually, was it three gifts? Yeah, you gave me day one because that was handed to me. You gave me day three because that was the blanket, and then you gave me day five, which was the debit card. Nah, so it's four then. And then what else you gave me? Cause the other one that was down the kids little thing little toy thing the, uh, oh yeah and the sweatshirt yep you gave me four because that yeah that on the side of the couch and like i've been had been looking around that tree <sighs> yeah but for me it's been wonderful it's yeah um, it's been fun though i have enjoyed every bit of i bet it. you have but show stuff that have. me that if i wanted to if i wanted to I can dress my wife down. Yeah, he could. From the sleep <laughs> to the walking out the door to the maxing and relaxing, you really I'm lounging around. And then one of these are things that I I wanted to pinpoint because yeah, to have relaxing clothes, to have mm-hmm. PJs, to have some stuff you can go, have some mm-hmm. stuff that you can just like you know, throw on and throw just on. run out. Like yeah. you know, I try to cover all bases. Like, was it difficult? Uh, no, it wasn't because at the end of the day, <laughs> I check sizes. I check everything before I go out. And for the most part, I know how my my wife's body structure. Yeah, is. you do. So, and then you know exactly what I try to like, you know, cover up. Some stuff I bought for this journey. I'm very smart and intelligent. But this, we said all that to say this, man. Step your game. <laughs> step your game. Hey, y'all better step your game up. Because I think step, that's the one thing. Step though. your game up. But and then we've talked about this before in our other podcasts is that you are you are a man that listens, um, and you pay attention. That's how you still had the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of what I got were things that I've kind of either one said that I needed, you needed more of, or something that I was like, ooh, I like wearing this. And so a lot of what you got, like cardigans, I love a cardigan. I don't care if it's long, short, whatever. A, a good cardigan, that's always a girl's best friend because I can wear, I can wear them in the winter, but I also wear them. Um, you guys should know by now hopefully that i teach or if you're new to the podcast i'm a teacher so a lot of times it's cold and so i like to put on jackets so my cardigans sometimes um are you know something i can layer it's a world of comfort yeah it's like a world of comfort because i walk around um and i close it up with my hands and kind of wrap it around myself so that's kind of um a lot of what i do helps with her anxiety yeah yeah it helps me with my anxiety and then um one cardigan actually has pockets and i love pockets so um i think every lady loves well most people yeah we love pockets what's up yeah we love it's another part of comfort too that's what's up ladies Talk about everything so, with pockets. Please, but <laughs> <laughs> not everything. Some things don't need pockets. But the ladies, it's so funny. How about drawers got pockets on? <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put the remote in. Like, uh, <laughs> But overall, um, this has been a great experience. Um, <laughs> you sort of put the remote are, in your underwear. You know, I cannot. <laughs> we are venturing off into some new things in 2021. Oh, <laughs> we 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 pray that you guys stay with us. Yeah. Um, we had some nice feedback from we have a lot of the podcasts yeah. that we have doing, we, and we appreciate y'all listening. Oh, we do. Um, and the, I honest, think, the honest feedback too. Yeah, the honest feedback. Mm-hmm. And I believe we're going to be having a few guests coming on mm-hmm. pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, we have a young lady that will be coming on. And also, we're going to do a collab. This is what's going to be. What are you looking at me like? What are you talking about? I am. That's what's up. We're going to be collabing with the round table. Uh, oh, if you guys do not know, um, we, we will be posting their link. Mm-hmm. To the round table stuff on here We're going to do a partnership To interview this young lady Who is by far Phenomenal in She's the, 22 
just turned 22. She just today. turned 20. Yeah, she just turned and 22. When I seen that, that right there blew my mind. I did because I was, I just knew, like, I was expecting something because I went out and I did what, you know, you asked me to do. And so um, I started following. And she's now following me. Yeah. But then I was like, I was looking at her stories and I'm like, wait, her birthday's late. And I'm like, how old is she? I'm like, wait, yeah. she 22? Like, boo. Like, right. we are, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward yeah. to. Hearing yes. from her, um, yeah. powerful woman of God. Yes, so. at such a young age, um, twenty-two, like 20. twenty-two. If I was like, if that, I was like that at twenty-two, woo, I would have less kids. First off, <laughs> <laughs> now we love our children. We love all of them. <laughs> Yeah, because they got you know, you know, you gotta listen. You gotta take, you gotta take those things. <laughs> it's what made you today, you know. You know, like it's one of the things when you know better, you do better. You know, like, we talked about that too. Yeah, that and, and that's what my thing is. Mm-hmm. There's no regrets. Right. There's no nothing like that. But honestly, if I knew what I knew knew now, yeah, you know. And I think that's the I'm I'm looking forward to hear the journey to get to where um, because I think a lot of times um, where we are now and because we got it well sweet for me because I got it so late I feel like I'm but trying to run and let's let, let's talk about that though did we get it late though um I think the processing and the understanding of it yes I got that late I wouldn't say we got it late. I think I think that we got it when we we're able to appreciate it a whole lot more. Right. But if we had like think about think about where I guess I, I do this sometimes is um and we talked about we we just hitting on all of our little podcasts we've done. Um but it's one of the things where you know what you say is looking looking backwards that one yeah the hindsight so like when i look back hindsight a lot of the things that i was doing and i'll I'll just use you know this young lady at 22 had i had i known then because i had the unction to want to do i just didn't have the tools to be able to understand now what do i do with this yeah so that's what i I that's what i mean by i think goes back to like who you surrounded yeah but i know that was a big part of yeah yeah, that was a big part of it and so um i think i'm just interested to to hear about one who her circle yeah you know who she is surrounded by and then how being sold out okay we talking a little bit we about to dive into it and we want to wait till she till she comes on but i'm just excited but i i mean i'm truly excited too you know You know, I'm I'm truly <laughs> truly excited. That's why I'm trying to hold it in. Okay, sorry. I don't want to have uh, uh, y'all just got a little prelude to yeah. what's about to happen. No, I am. I'm just. But excited. today's topic. What's the topic? I don't even know, what, I don't know what the topic. topic is. What is topic? Um, the topic is I have a secret. Oh, Jesus, be <sighs> I'm sitting here. Twenty twenty one. The uh, did the ball drop? You know with Corona out? I have no. I don't know. That's another thought. Um, but we were in church, <laughs> so I have no idea. Definitely that's a good question. Did, but, did the ball uh, drop? I mean, hey, if if you know whether the ball really did drop in time, what Times Square, we right? Like drop it below. I do know, like Australia, some of the ones that did New Year's before us. I do recall seeing like a clip of fireworks. So I know some What's of them up? did fireworks, but did the ball drop in New York, y'all? Yeah. So if you know, like drop comments. I, mean, I know below ain't nobody down there, but still drop the ball. But I don't know. know. That's, but that's a lot of money to drop that ball. You know that? Hey, they got it. Ain't nobody doing nothing. But <laughs> it's Corona. They but lost jobs. Back to the topic at hand. Not a secret. Jesus. Help me, Lord. <sighs> but. 2021 comes, man, and um, I'm I'm kind of in this vein, like spiritually. And y'all, um, y'all, 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 y'all keep the brother in prayer. Um, just like a new year for me is always a great opportunity because where I'm from, they say you're supposed to be dead at the age of 19, 20. 
And for me to make it out of that, each year, each day, each second that I get is a, is a great opportunity. Is a great opportunity for me, and I don't want to throw it away, mm-hmm. waste it. I want to be able to for somebody to look back at the time stamp and say, "Mr. Mo was here, and he was giving this advice, and he was giving this. You know, he was pouring into people." Who felt like there were no, that there was nothing left. So 2021 drop title. If you don't know, it is secrets. I have the secret. And um, this is what I want you to do. Because when I discovered this, I said to myself, I am not using what I need to be using. What is one thing in this world? Well, I hate this type of stuff. What is one thing in this world that makes this world actually go round and round? And then I want to follow it up to give you some time to think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Now, do you mean like what what they say? No, in your head. I'm talking about what you say. Make like I, I the don't actual hear what world. They say I don't want to hear what them say. I don't know what I don't want to hear what the T is say. I want to hear what's your thought. What has impacted and embodied this world to this day? Hold on, y'all. Y'all know. Uh... You so what? what? Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Tell my driver, she is looking. I'm Googling this. something Googling. really f- fast. Okay. So, impact is a couple of things. The noun is the action of, okay, no, I'm going to do impact as the verb. Um, to come into forcible contact with one, uh, with Another object, so to come into forcible contact with another object, or uh, the second definition under the verb imp- uh, impact as a verb, have a strong effect o- on something or someone. So have a strong effect on something or someone. So either way, it's either strong effect or a forcible contact. So if if I'm forcing you to do something, it's usually against your will. So what is the one thing that is making this world go around? That's what you said? Mm-hmm. Sin? <laughs> You're going to go straight, straight <laughs> spiritual, huh? <laughs> 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 no, it's not sin. Foolery? No. Uh-uh. <sighs> it is something that We'll give you one more chance, and then we'll go ahead and dive in. But that's my tantrum, y'all. It is something Meaning that back. you see every day. It is something that comes across your path every day. You walk by it. You 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 you're in the presence of it. What TV? Like, the media? Is, is like TV media? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the me- media. Like that's what I meant by TV. Like the media. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all is you know. All right, listen. Enough guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Enough googling. Listen, this is what it is. What is it? This is the thing that makes the world go around. That I'm not using very well. I'm using it, but I'm not using it like I need to be using it. You're using it, but you're not using it very well. Nine times <laughs> out of ten. You who are listening and watching are not using this very thing well. You when I say it, my wife's going to say, eh. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's ideas. What? what? <sighs> this whole world is built off of ideas. We just talked about that. This whole world is built off of ideas. This camera lens, this this these computers, these different things like this is built off of great ideas, great solutions to problems. So, 
That's the secret. The secret is this. So the secret ain't. <laughs> the secret is this, that are we maximizing? No, we are not. In our ideas? No. Are we maximizing in the resources? Because we'll, we'll feel comfortable pushing somebody else's idea. Come on, I'm, I'm in here. Go, you got it, I, babe. I, I'm in here. I'm in here. We'll feel comfortable pushing somebody else's idea when it's something that burns on the inside of us. And something that we want to do. Something that we want to do. Like the crazy part, it be it can be like something simple. Like if you're good at writing, or if you're good at reading, or if you're good at uh whatever you're good at, and you do it effortlessly. Mm-hmm. That's the talent. Like when you about. when you do it effortlessly, right. is effortlessly a word? Yes. It is today if it ain't. Uh but <laughs> yeah, I'll be you do it, you do it effortlessly, right? And that very thing mm-hmm. can be something that help a company out. Be something that, like, if you're a great organizer, mm. how many millionaires and billionaires need a great organizer? A lot. A lot. It is a word. Thank you. Oh, sure. Hey, when the package is right, <laughs> this is good. But <laughs> that's my thing I wanted to tackle on today. It's ideas. It doesn't have to be very, you know, extravagant. And I'm sitting here like, sad. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she all up in the. Uh, hey, I was she, about. She I, hey, up, you, I had a mouthful too. All, all up on the front row. It's sad. It's sad. Fornication. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> Cheating. But uh, listen. Backstabbing. That, that that that's to me. That's that's what we're wrapped in. So yeah. You know, that's just something. Well, that's why I thought that because I was uh, like, okay, what are, what's the uh, world uh, caught straight, up? Straight, straight. I went straight there because I'm like, like man, you just gonna trick me? You just in that mode now. I get it. Sin. <laughs> no. <laughs> but. But I get I get it. I um, I totally get it because it goes back to what you were saying to me. Was that yesterday? I don't know. Day four yesterday. Stuff. Okay, I went to work today. I think it was yesterday when we were watching um. Something and I was like, babe, look at this. I, oh, that was the oh. um, somebody took um, the brown egg and then they had some type of sander. It reminds me, and I, I don't know what it's the proper name of it, but it reminds me of the nail file that they use at the nail salon, but mm-hmm. it was very tiny. And then they were decorating and they made a Fabergé egg out of the brown eggshell. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, well, don't be. What'd you say to me? Don't, don't some, oh, don't be mad because somebody using, you know, their ideas or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so that, that's the first thing that came to mind is because you just hinted on something that, um, you said sometimes we push the ideas of others, but we, but we have something deep down that's burning inside of us that we kind of push to the, to the back, yeah. um, to help to boost up those people that are close to us because we, initially want to see them excel Mm -hmm. um and so a lot of times i think even at a young age we're full of ideas but then we just don't know how to go about executing them because i think about like uh, think about araya and nicole um the one thing oh my gosh so (laughs) was it like a few when was it i can't remember but um one of the things that Araya did, I'll say it, it's been this year. Well, it was last year, but it's been this school year. They took putty <laughs> and made headphones for the babies. Who does that? Okay. My, I don't think she was seven yet. No, she wasn't. She was six because school had just pretty much started. She goes, look, mommy. I'm like, what is that? She's like, I made headphones for the baby. And she's looking at me like, duh, but headphones. And you can actually see the, the muffs of the headphones. And then Nicole took a box the other day, laid a blanket. <laughs> they, my, our kids still plastic love boxes, box. plastic and boxes. Um, toys. Next I, I time, buy them plastic and boxes. Plastic and boxes, and they're they're good. But she took a box from Sam's that you got the groceries in, right. and she turned it into it was 
the baby bed, the baby yeah. crib. And so she got a blanket on her own, put the blanket in there, laid the baby. Um, and that when she, you know. <laughs> and then on the one part, I felt so bad. Yeah. Because I threw that plastic out. And she was so broken. <gasps> Y'all, she was so she broken. She was so hurt. And then she just fought me about the other plastic you gave them today. But she threw that away on her own. And because. But I, uh, I didn't want the plastic. But this goes in. I felt bad because, number one, you know. It was their floaties. It, it was, was the baby it, floaties it is what she floaties. said. Mm-hmm. But the thing, I, I guess the thing for me, because I threw it in the uh, recycling mm-hmm. bin. And I didn't know what was in there. And I didn't want to bring it back out, you know. Who knows? But my thing was, look at, she was so passionate about this idea yeah. of her doll being on a float. Being on a floaty. And now you now, now you know my idea is just go ahead and buy them some miniature floaties <laughs> right. anyway. And That's put, how I feel. But she took, because the way this this plastic was laid out, it was, it was laid like the, plastic we ever um, got, like the float beds that you, with the little ridges. So it was yeah. laid out just like that. And then the other part of that is they like the idea that they could stand on it and that it would not pop. I even, yeah. wa- I'll be, I'm guilty. I walked across it. And you did, and it didn't pop. So, so that was I the biggest, myself, yeah. You're not that fat, boy. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Her idea, babe. That's what we're talking that about. Was my idea, but um, <laughs> but even watching them at four and seven, um, about just the ideas that they come up with, yeah. um, and so it's we're starting to cultivate in them at a young age ideas and sharing and expressing but then somewhere somehow i think as adults we get stagnant in our own ideas or don't share them Mm -hmm. because somewhere some down the line or back then somebody did they stifled us in our ideas they did not allow us to to perform um, or share our full potential. Somebody didn't water it. Right. Somebody, yeah. Planet. And I think that's what happens a lot of times as adults because think about with us, you've helped me to find a lot of different things that I did not know I was capable of doing. I might have the idea and be like, ooh, baby, let me do Well, you be like, well, just go to the, do, 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 just do it. I'm like, I don't want to do it. Like, I don't, that ain't one of the things I want to do. But, um, <laughs> But if I come up with an idea, you kind of start talking about and then it gets me it it kind of sends it reignite the spark. That's what I want to say. It reignites the spark. So sometimes when we are stagnant in our own ideas because we have either just been stifled or two, we're so focused on others and helping them to, you know, push their vision and pushing their ideas and different things like that. We don't. We got we got to learn how to find the fire to reignite us. And I guess the one thing I I you know it push the right vision, you know. Right. I'm not, like I'm like I believe in helping people because I I I mean I've pushed people's vision. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm still yet helping people push their vision. Right. But I don't lose sight of what my vision is no. because while I'm pushing their vision, at the end of the day, I still want to still leave a legacy. Mm-hmm. Regardless of the situation, like, we are supposed to be helpers one to another. Right. And that's just the part of being loving and supportive. And, and being your brother's keeper, being too. being your brother's keeper. Right. But for me, like, in the midst of it, I'm still gaining stuff for me mm-hmm. and, 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 and the legacy that I will leave. I mean, because... There was no footprint, no no footprints in the sand for me right. to go by to do this, to do that, mm-hmm. to do this. It was other footprints that led to you know gangs, drugs, and all this different mm-hmm. other stuff. Like it, it it led me down a path. I can't say you know I regret it because in my lifetime I don't regret anything because those things built me and mm-hmm. made me who I am today. But and that's what I was going to say too for you hearing hearing that and you know I know a lot of most of your story. <laughs> um duh. But I think what has happened is you found that spark that 
no matter what you're doing or who you're assisting, that spark keeps you ignited always. So it's like a constant spark where your fire and your drive for things never let out. Like there's mm-hmm. so many factors that are against you, but you have been so grounded in it, um, especially since moving here, um, yeah. been so grounded in if there's an idea you have, you ran with it. There has ne- there has not been one thing within these last seven years we've been married, almost eight, yeah. that you have not like thought of and at least tried it to see if it's going to work. And, uh, and, and if I stop, it's because I had to do daddy day. Yeah, and and that's so. the only yeah, and that's the only <laughs> Other thing. Other than that, you know, but because think about it though, I got took taken away from my distractions. Mm-hmm, yeah. So can we say then that sometimes not only do others can others stifle, but sometimes our distractions stifle us in our ideas because we get so caught up, um, as mom would say, the rigmarole, (laughs) (laughs) Um, get so caught up in that to where we forget. You know, we forget that idea. Um, and it's not like it ever really goes away. It's just, it's like, it, I mean, it's dormant. It's just kind of back of my mind. All yeah. right. And then one day somebody will say something to kind of spark your interest. But then, you know, if you never cultivate that thing, if you never feed the fire. So, you know, when you, when I know I keep talking about this, but I don't know why I see a spark, but um, when you talk about the spark in order to feed the fire or to help the fire grow, you got to constantly put wood to it. So if I'm not putting my wood to my ideas that 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 will say you have ignited a spark into one of my ideas that I had a long time ago. You're like, babe, just do it. And this happens real life. Well, I mean, iron shop iron. Right. But that's what I'm saying. But if we never do that or we never come across people to help us get to that point, we just got a spark that's not lighting because there's no wood or f- nothing to feed the fire to make it grow. Uh, and I think for me this year, well, started last well, yeah, middle, you, middle you, of last yeah. year, I was like, I wanted to grow different relationships. Mm-hmm. And I'm building. I'm building relationships outside of what relationships I already have. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm in that that growing stage of, by any means necessary, like I have to leave something for my children. Right. Like, like, like I have to. I, like I have to. It, it only way I don't is if I die. But your ideas too have purpose. Oh, all day. Like you're not sitting here saying Who oh, does an idea without a purpose? I mean, some people be trying to figure out, like, oh, uh, I just need this, I need to make this quick book, so let look, me do da 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 da. Listen. But you cannot do that. You better you're, lead off with a purpose. Right. Your so your ideas must also have a purpose. Yes. Um and and then you mentioned too earlier where you said when we are pushing others' ideas, make sure it's an idea that is uh <laughs> lack of better words good a good a god idea <laughs> and not just something that the person is n- not buying into foolery can i say that i've bought into a lot of foolery That's why like I say that like like not buying into foolery and we have to be careful y'all because so many people have ideas like so many people have all these ideas and they all sound amazing um but i guarantee you like I'm not trying to what was that you told me to do babe remember I was like it was something and you said why don't you just make your own and I'm like Mm-mm, I don't want to do that because that's not my thing oh gosh I say a lot of stuff it was something artsy crafty so he was like why don't you just put your craft to it and I'm like nah I'm good that ain't my thing like I, I don't want to do that like that's not something that I've wanted to do but I will push the idea for somebody else because if that is their passion and that's what they're excelling in then I'll do that so sometimes we have to even if someone's trying to plan an idea in our head if it's just not something for us or it don't really move you then I'm just think about yeah it, you it, try it, for it, that. It, if I plant an idea if I say hey won't you because I'm this type of person well I'm that particular thing, though. Like, but I'm this type of person. Like, you never know 
until you try. Right. But That's I think this, I can't remember what it was, y'all. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness. Then go ahead and um, do it then. Whatever the, whatever the, I w- and it's going to probably come to me like, I'm going to wake up out of my sleep and then. What are those cups? <laughs> Was it? Yes, I think. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. It was the glitter cups, right? And he was like, why don't you just? And I'm like, nah, babe, that ain't, that's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? And so he was like, well, it's beating your thing. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, I don't see you making beats. Well, my reason. And you got my beat? Yeah. You didn't even ask me for a beat. Oh, but the beating was also an idea that he planted, but I found it to be therapeutic. And that was something that I wouldn't have thought to do. So sometimes there are ideas where it's like, oh, you know what? I can do that. And then once I started, so you can have people. I was just trying to get a customized cup. That's why. <laughs> 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 an in-house customized cup. The it idea looks, is it I- looks cool. I think once we, once we, once we move, then I want I want a room where I can do Come some on. stuff. But but um, <laughs> <laughs> an RC craft a art, room? yes, an arts and craft room. But that's the thing where we have to just be careful is make sure that our ideas um are not just something on a whim and that the motive behind it is a good one and not like you know, one that's going to cause foolery and not that one that's not going to um, eventually become stat that will end, end up being just stagnated and you're not doing anything with it anyway. Yeah. And uh, I think we're at the time now where you have to realize you can't keep trading. Well, I told my wife this what, was last week, this week, when Probably. Was some, some, somewhere in between there, you know, I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts, mm-hmm. um, was when I would go get the was that Tuesday? When I get whatever. Yeah. I would go do something with the, with the truck, Tuesday. so I had yes, time sir. to you know think, travel, and think, travel, and think. So, but I told her, you know, however long you want to work in this in the school system. Oh yeah, that I'm was fine yeah, with it now. Because at first, you know, like I kind of like I don't rock with it like that, he honestly. Doesn't. Especially when they be throwing my queen in the fire like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I got a little bit. Okay, I got a big issue with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm probably venting a He's, whole lot right about do now. You, need you know what I'm saying? Or you just want me to listen. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> I and I came to grips with uh, if she wants to work a nine to five, I'm fine with it. But who's to say I'm accepted because it's like, okay. Either way, you work that nine to five, you uh-huh. just gonna be a billionaire <laughs> still, <laughs> still nine to five. working a yeah. nine to five. And one thing I want to get people out of because she does it because that's her passion, mm-hmm. you know. And for me, I don't want to knock a person's passion, but I do want to elevate it or right. enhance it as a husband or a, a, a spouse mm-hmm. or anything significant. Well, I can't say significant other. Whoever you're married to should always be enhancing you, should mm-hmm. always build you up. Like, right. there should never be really, there should never be a tear down. Mm-hmm. Because it, if you're tearing them down, whether you know it or not, you're tearing yourself down too. You're tearing the family down. How did I get here? I don't know how you But there. even though I'm here, but my thing is, you can't continue to trade time for money. Time for money, time for money, because your children, children cannot eat off that time and that money or time and that little bit of money. People know that education world that teachers are very underpaid. It's no secret. You know, it's not It's not a secret. <laughs> that's why that's why I know she's passionate about it. <laughs> yes, I know she's passionate about it. She loves she loves the kids and the kids yeah. love her. At the end of the day, somebody has to be in a place Mm-hmm. That has that heart for the kids, and that's why I rock with. It. That's the only reason why I rock with it. And the other time, I really don't rock with it. He does not. I got an issue with it, you know, because and especially in this, just in this time, in this time, you yeah. know what I'm saying. And that's been the battle, but 
the different ideas that are dropped, um, and I'll just kind of be transparent in this moment, the different ideas that people are dropping saying, you know, hey, yeah, you got education. You know what all you could do with that? You could do this and this and this and this and this. And, this. and um, even though those are ideas and even though they may have been something that I thought about or something that I, I can actually do, um, I'm learning that I have to really go with the inner me, that inner gut, um, and listen to the voice. Because if I jumped on every single idea somebody threw at me, because it sounds, oh, like that sounds good. I could do that. I I think about it and I'm just like, eh, no. Um, and so that's how, um, like he said, the idea behind me leaving teaching, I know that I'm probably not going to be in a classroom forever in a day. Okay, I I I'm at I'm almost vested <laughs> with the state. So once that happens, um, there are other things that I would like to do within the district. But um, at the same time, I can allow seeds from people who don't mean me well and that are just giving an opinion. You gotta watch. That. Um, I can't allow them to start planning those things because then I'll be looking for a quick out. So that's the one thing too, that I just want to mention is just be very careful about who you allow to drop ideas. Um, yeah, I can probably make those cups and be very, very good at it, but you you know, make you a cup by, by, uh, by the tumbler twirler. And yeah, they're, they're nice too. I seen this lady that had like five, six, but, um, you know, it's, it's not one of my things, but if my husband says, all right, babe, I'll buy the stuff. Hey, I'm going to be in here making up and making him some tumblers, a whole heap of them. Okay, crazy part. I ain't going to learn how to do it myself. Yeah, yeah, he would. Come home with a whole thing full of them. Full of tumblers. That's, how, that's, how, that's, how, that's what I do. That's just me. Yeah. You know. But I mean, and that's the difference too, because sometimes we have ideas and like you, every idea you've had, you have tried it out. Me, I get ideas, but my things are kind of, I'm going to say minimal, but like there are smaller ideas that can grow to a larger scale. But I have to scale back because my priority right now is wife, mother, teacher, you know, those type of things. Um, Yeah. Family business, like all of all of that stuff. So um, I'm very. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm very cautious about thing extra things that I take on because my ideas can become super large. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think when we just recap uh, over some things about the ideas is that's the big secret. We all have ideas, but what are we doing with them? We, we honestly, we're, we're not using every one of them. And then sometimes we're not using the ones that we should be using. Yeah. Okay. Or could be using. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, this is, I mean, you're six days into the new year, so or seven days into the new mm. year. Um, by the time you see this podcast, listen. So, or you listen to this podcast, you know you want to lose weight. <laughs> I, you know, that's 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 great. That's awesome. It's that's a, a good a idea. idea. <laughs> it is. But I'm telling you, I can't. If you <laughs> do not. Start using those ideas, those passions that is on the inside of you. Where's the resolution that says, okay, I'm going to start writing this year. I'm going to start working <laughs> on music this year. I'm going to like, like tackling those things that has been sitting dormant right. on the inside of you. Like you have to get to that because mm-hmm. then you're passing on that same burden. Yep. To your, your kids, kids. <laughs> like yeah. my kids, like I, I'm like, feel free to be creative. Yeah, and I mean, and we—that's one thing too. They get out of line with their creativity. We just they get checked. They do. That's when yeah. they know. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah, be responsible with your creativity and right. your ideas. Don't just do ideas and think. You know, a lot of times they get ideas and then they get somebody else's idea. Mm-hmm. And I have to, okay, nah, cut that idea off. You can do this. Right, but you but can't you can go. Yeah. And so that's, I mean, it, and that's the biggest thing. And I think that's where with the tumblers is I know my limit. Like, I know my cutoff. Like, I'm a bead, 
But then there are some people that bead and they do different things that bead. But I know my cutoff. I know, nah, that, mm, nah, let me just do it this way. So that's just an example of an idea that I didn't know. Um, I thought about it, but then it was something where he kind of planted it. And then I just kind of went forward with it. So sometimes there will be some people that are in your life that impact you positively and they plant a seed for an idea because they can see the um what's the word the potential in you to carry that thing out so um i think that's the 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 main thing it's just acting out on the ideas that are the god ideas and not something just on a whim making sure that it has a purpose um, that will impact people for the better and not negatively. But you got to also think about it like this. We're created in his image, Mm -hmm. which is God's image. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention, everything that is around us started with an idea, Mm -hmm. God idea from everything. But the greatest idea that God gave us was Jesus, Mm -hmm. which was wrapped in the idea, (laughs) which is wrapped in the idea. I need him to go to earth Mm -hmm. and die. Need to do something. Do something. Like Like his idea was, I need somebody to be able to do what I can't do. One of the greatest ideas, one of the smartest moves ever made. That's good. So Jesus wrapped flesh, Wrapped in the idea. Mm -hmm. That's who Jesus is. Because God had an idea to create somebody to be able to carry out what he can't do. Come on now, you're right there with me. Yeah. 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 I mean, it makes sense. And then that idea, like, and then Jesus had to take on that same idea to understand why or the purpose behind God's idea of creating him. So this is sometimes where somebody else's, this is where like you kind of, pour into people's ideas because in order for that thing to keep feeding like jesus had to be willing to say okay you, all right god this is your idea so i'm gonna let me do my part he he, he, he so, walked it through right 100 percent. right so sometimes it does take us helping others um and being a partner and walking through um assisting them with their ideas and being there 100% but it does not mean at that same time that you cannot um still have your ideas uh and then act on those as well while you're helping somebody else yeah. so you have to take care of yourself as well too because you don't want to be stifled yeah so this concludes this podcast. We want to thank y'all for tuning in. Those who are driving in the car, driving in the car. We, we love, love driving riding. in the but, car. But um, we want to thank y'all for tuning <laughs> in. Uh, those who are watching, you know what it is. Hit the like button, subscribe. Notification bell. Hit the notification bell. All that, leave a comment. Ding. Thanks for the love that you are giving us. Yes. Um, for last thought, please. Keep God first. Oh, no, no. oh, my bad. Oop. <laughs> I myself in. Hey, everything is like you, you got know. the wrong idea. Wrong uh, idea. <laughs> listen, <laughs> don't do me like hey, that. Listen, stay and hold to that thing that's on the inside of you. Yes, push that idea. Don't be scared. You Go know, for it. Like, like if you don't do it. That's another thing that makes the grave rich. Live mm. full, die empty. Now, this is where we say, keep God first. And, and the, the rest, rest will, will be, be added. Here we go. <laughs>